the uh, Bang Bang Rail. Um, street fighters, yeah. Uh, people, um, most listen. Most fighters, boxers I know, yeah, come from the street, yeah. They fight. They fight on the cobbles. Yeah? They they fight people that can fight on the street, as well as in the ring. Yeah, am I right or wrong? I mean, if people just don't go in the boxing ring and can't fight in the street. It goes without saying that they're good fighters on the street too. Yeah, and I was just saying about um, like uh, Cliffield. Um, I remember. I remember Roy Shaw saying that. Uh, that Lenny McLean, right? Okay, he got beat twice by Cliff or three times by Cliff. I remember Roy Shaw saying to me once in the dressing room when I over the Beckett that Lenny McLean uh, could beat Cliff Fields on the cobbles. No, mate. I said, no way. I said, how could he beat him on the cobbles? You can't beat him in the ring. So how can he beat him in the cobbles? You know, I mean, unlicensed fighting. It's not like being in the cobbles as such, in a way, you know. I feel, I feel that, um, like it's like it's like uh, when I said to Roy Shaw, okay, what? So you're telling me that Lenny McLean beat you in the ring, but he couldn't beat you on the cobbles? Is that what you're saying to me? He went, no, 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 not at all. I said, well, you just said that um, it's only in the ring that you know it's different to the cobbles. Is it different to? I don't think it's. The, I don't think it is. I think the ring and the cobbles is the exact same thing, especially on the unlicensed fighting, yeah? It's just, I mean, Lou Yates. Lou Yates, fantastic on the door, yeah? Um, and a good fighter on the cobbles. A good fighter on the cobbles. I mean, I know I know, Roy beat him. I know Roy beat him, but Lou Yates said he didn't beat him. He was over a cut or something. Uh, I've never spoke to Lou Yates about that fight, um, but Roy Shaw... Right, Roy Shaw said he'd beat him on the cobbles too, but could he beat him on the cobbles as well? I don't know. You know, it's, uh, it, uh, for you, you to tell me. What do you think? Do you think Lenny could have beat Johnny Waldron on the cobbles? Well, Johnny Waldron knocked him out f twice. Do you really think that Lenny could beat Johnny Waldron? Just give me your your comments. You know, um, I feel that Johnny Waldron would beat Lenny on the cobbles as well, because if he can knock him out twice. With just punches, I'm sure he can do the exact same thing on the course. Listen, Lenny McLean was a proper man, mate. He was a big, big, hard man. But as you said before, I knew Lenny was a, when he was about 16, 17 stone. A lot, lot different. As soon as he got on the roids, he become more angry, you know what I mean? More, more, more angry. Um, if he got older, if he got older on the course, maybe you'll be in trouble, you know. Most people on the cobbles don't give it that. Don't let don't let anybody get near them. You know what I mean? I mean, when I fight on the cobbles, I fight on the cobbles. It's like bare fists, and it's like don't let no one get near. If they do, it's down to the elbows, down to the nuts, and it's down to your knees. You can do so many things. You know what I mean? I don't think I've been to beat on the cobbles myself. I've had a few. Listen, we've all we've all been hit on the chin on the cobbles and gone down and got up and beat and won the fight. I've done that quite a few times. Someone's uh, had a fight with me and hit me on the chin and I've gone over, but I've got up and won the fight at the end of the day, yeah? Cobbles is my game. I can fight on the cobbles, quite a good fight on the cobbles, but um, not even not even using using your legs, or not using your feet, maybe you losing your knees is, you know, but unlicensed fighting, is that the same? Is unlicensed fighting the same as being on the cobbles? It's tell me. Because I always thought that, you know, when, when Roy said to me that uh, Lenny could beat Cliff Fields, sorry, Lenny could beat Cliff Fields on the cobbles. I don't think so. Sorry about this, this, this sweat, man. So I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think Lenny could have beat Cliff Fields on the, on the cobbles. Let Cliff Fields can have a right fight, mate. I've seen Cliff Fields, he can have a right fight. Believe me, I've seen him uh, on the cobbles when, when we've had trouble uh, as any forces, yeah? And uh, he can have a right fight then. He can have a right fight, Cliff Fields. And I've seen him fight Travers, and he can have a right fight. So I don't think that, that uh, Cliff Fields uh, would run away from uh, with Len McLean on the cobbles. But I don't know, what do you reckon about Roy Shaw? What do you reckon about Roy Shaw or Cliff Fields? Cliff Fields says, well, when he was, he's, Cliff, I mean, Roy Shaw did say that Cliff Fields would beat him easy in the ring, but maybe on the cobbles he wouldn't. I don't know, mate. 
I don't know, you know what I mean? I don't know, I don't think so. I don't think, I think if Lenny can beat you in the ring, he can beat you in the cobbles. It's the same as Johnny Waldron. If Johnny Waldron can beat you on the ring, in the ring, he can beat you on the cobbles. Same with Lou Yates. If Lou Yates can beat you in the ring, he can beat you on the cobbles. I mean, there's loads of people I've fought in the ring that I know I could beat on the cobbles. It's mad, but it's mad, it's mad, it's crazy. It's, um, you know, just give me your comments on it. Do you think that Cliff Fields could have beat Lenny McLean on the covers. Do you think Johnny Waldron could have beat Lenny McLean on the covers? Do you think Roy Shaw could have beat Lou Yates on the covers? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. All the cobble fights, as I say, all the cobble fights I've had, um, no different in the, in the ring, mate. Really. No different in the ring. A little bit harder out in the covers, I suppose. Give me your comments on it, yeah? Bang, bang, my old, nice one.